If you ain't trying to get a bag, then deal. Cause see, I ain't got time for a wheel. I want a real ass who gon' stick with me. I want some real ass who gon' pimp with me. If you ain't trying to get a bag, then deal. Cause see, I ain't got time for a wheel. Okay, oh my god, y'all. Ignore how I look. This is real, real because I told y'all I was gonna show y'all like what my routine look like. Me and this look her. Okay, it's gonna grow. It's gonna grow, girl. Be patient. So I did not record when I got out of the car, so I might have to redo this video. <laughs> we we might have to do a take two. But I didn't record when I got in the car. I was just so ready to go home. And so focused on making sure I wasn't tired, driving home that early. Anyway, I drove home. I'm mad. I ain't do my routine. I ain't show y'all like I'm supposed to. <laughs> so, but I got home. I brushed my teeth. I was on the phone with my sister too. And y'all know I record on my phone. So, that was part of it. When I had got close to my house, my sister called me. Because she wake up at 4, 5 in the morning. And we was on the phone until... I went to bed. I was going to bed and they was getting ready to go to school. She was getting ready to take my niece to school. Um, so I got home. I was still on the phone with her. When I got home, my son greeted me at the door. Man, well, he do that every morning. He meets me at the door. Um, and he hugs me, child, with his big old self. And I let him out to go use the restroom while he used it. I got out of my uniform um, and brushed my teeth. By the time I was done brushing my teeth, he was ready to come back in. Then I did my skincare routine, washed my face. Um, and then after that, I hopped in the shower. Got out the shower, did, you know, lotion and moisturize your body. I went and warmed me up some food to eat. I ate some Rotel. And then I laid down, I got in the bed, and watched a show. Now, that was a better routine for me. Uh, than what I had typically been doing like I would typically when I would come home from work in the morning I would just go straight to bed right um and when I wake up I would then shower and do my routine and stuff but doing it when I get off helps me go to sleep faster in the morning because typically it take me a whole another hour so I don't be sleep till about 6 6 30 because it take me a whole hour just to kind of wind down and go to sleep but having that whole process, doing all of that, brushing my teeth, washing my face, hot shower, um, food, it kind of helped me prepare to wind down quicker. Um, so after I hit eight, it did take me double about 30 minutes maybe to fall asleep because, you know, body feeling good and everything. So I think that's what I'm continuing to do is when I get off of work instead of waiting until I wake up. <clears throat> this morning... It's 3.53 this morning. I woke up at about 9, uh, I think. Um, it is Valentine's Day, so it's just was a lot going on. I really forgot that I was filming this video, y'all. So we might have to do a, a take two. Yeah, so it's 3.54, and it's about my nap time for me to wind down because I got to be up at 8 to get ready to go to work. Um, yeah, I got up about nine or whatever. Um, ate breakfast with the family. We had our Valentine's Day breakfast brunch. Um, we did some mimosas. Had about two or three of them. So, um, and then just now... I just got through <clears throat> eating some leftover rotel. My dad went to go get my tire fixed. I had some holes in my tires. So he went to go get them plugged in my uncle's shop. And I'm about to wind down and go to sleep. Um, I'm watching Bougie Barbie talk about what she eat in a day, 
her supplements and blah 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 blah. I'm about to watch some else, something like either um home renovations or house hunting or decorating or organizing something like that um to kind of help wind me down and put me asleep um it was a kind of groggy day for me i was supposed to go to walmart today to get some sticker uh labor papers so i could print these labels for my auntie i didn't make it to walmart so fingers crossed she don't call me till tomorrow Cause I'm about to go take a nap anyway, and then it's gonna be too late because I'm going to work. But I gotta, 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 gotta remember to go to Walmart tomorrow and get that Avery sticker paper. And I gotta figure out where our printer is in here so I can print them. Like, I don't know, I'm stressed out. It's a lot of stuff I gotta remember. Um, but my dad did fix my car, he did go because BMW was like they do when you do the diagnostic they look at everything that's wrong with your car everything that's wrong with your car um down to the paint down to the scratches and the bumps so my total quote was like eleven thousand dollars but they was talking about shit that wasn't that important to be honest with you they was like you know the little thing on the side of your seat where you push the button to move the seat up and back it fell off it well, didn't fell off when i was doing two rows some <laughs> I spoke my auntie up. I'm going to sleep. Some big girl broke my thing when I was doing Turo. And I just never paid to get it fixed. Um, I'm not that concerned about it. It don't bother me that, if, that it's off. But they had that on there. Like, you know, if a little leather on your seat is gone and all that kind of stuff. So this damn quote was like $11,000. It's like, yeah, I try to wrap it up in mine. But for the stuff to get my car back up and running without it, um smelling like that burning stuff or whatever it was gonna be like twenty five hundred three thousand dollars which i didn't want to pay that either like i mean that's not drastic i would have sucked it up but i didn't want to pay that either so my dad if i had to i would have but my dad looked up online if he could do it and he said he could so i got the parts and boom and i'm gonna pay him instead i didn't pay no more than maybe like 400 i want to say for all of my parts um and so yeah and i'm just gonna pay my date because and 25 to 3,000. that was i can't remember if that was with the parts or without the parts i want to say it was with the parts because that's the only thing that's gonna make sense but it kind of don't make sense because my parts was still only 400 dollars where i bought them so, but I'm gonna take a nap. We're gonna try this again. So, yeah, I don't really know where this video is starting. This is more than likely gonna be a part of some weekly vlog, child. I just don't know which or you know what what's really going on with my weekly vlog. So, update life update um uh, i am no longer in my little security job y'all that didn't work out um i don't even really know what happened i don't know what happened or you know why but they messaged me on <laughs> the 15th that morning wednesday last wednesday morning or this previous Wednesday's morning. Um, and I go in at night. So I didn't even work Wednesday. So my last day was Valentine's Day. But they met. My supervisor going to message me Wednesday morning. And was like, um, Supervisor Coleman, due to you not completing the mandatory training, um, you've been removed from the schedule. He was like, you're not terminated. Just removed from the schedule. Report to the, you know, branch office for more uh information or some crap so i'm like what and then i'm like when was i supposed to complete the training like i've been doing it y'all they training is a, li a little extensive um it's got like three different phases to it 
Um, the first phase had like 20 modules we were supposed to do, and then they were supposed to schedule for me to do um, some CPR, things like that. And so uh, nobody ever told me when the training was supposed to be completed. I didn't get a date or an amount of days or weeks or time. The only like information that I got is when you start the modules online, it say you have six weeks to complete it. And I was explaining it to him. I'm like, I thought it said six weeks. And he was like, oh, that's for regular security officers, not supervisors. We have a shorter amount of time. Um, and I'm like, well, nobody, you know, you didn't tell me that. The the branch didn't tell Nobody felt the need to tell me when I'm supposed to complete something. If it has a deadline, that's, that's, that's don't seem right. He was like, yeah, it shouldn't be that big of a deal if you just go up to the branch. They should be able to um, just let you pick up from where you left off. But they just, we had to remove, they had to remove you from the the um, schedule. And, oh, what's happening with this braid? And I'm like, okay. So I go down there and it's a bunch of bull crap, basically. Um, they're, they're telling him like, hey the termination papers have already been submitted he was like it wasn't supposed to it's just supposed to be removed from the clock and blah, blah 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 and they're like well once you've been terminated from a site you can't go back to that location well see if we could place you somewhere else and all this crap and i'm like but that's unfair when y'all didn't put that correct information into the little module nor did anyone inform me of any kind of deadline or time frame on when it was supposed to be completed and y'all basically just gonna fire me for that like for something that wasn't my fault it wasn't like i wasn't doing them like i had just completed phase one mind y'all y'all i had only i hadn't even been at the job for a month so i don't know how much time I, what was i supposed to have just 30 days and if that's the case i had not yet hit 30 days when was i supposed to complete it like it's trained and i'm confused but okay whatever so that job gone child but i'm not too concerned about it like i said i'm I make money other ways um this is a platform for me to be able to earn i don't yet on youtube but definitely appreciate y'all but if you do want to support me i do um earn on instagram reels and facebook reels um i'll put my facebook because i don't think my actual my personal page is on there but yeah so those two and y'all can go follow me on tiktok so i could be able to start to earn on tiktok i want to get into the tiktok bag real quick but yeah i'm not really too concerned about it um y'all things happen it's it's a part of life i never get content or you know with any kind of job that i ain't set for myself because things like that can just happen um so it really just kind of is what it is. I didn't plan on being there for long anyway. I definitely didn't plan on leaving this early though. But I wasn't finna be there that much longer, no way. When summertime came, I was finna be out the door. Um, so I only had like three more months there, but I would have toughed it out if that didn't happen. But clearly that wasn't in my plans. That wasn't in God's plans for me. I don't know what's next. You know, maybe I wasn't focused on me. And my goal is as much as I need to be. Maybe that's why they got taken out, you know. Because I do feel like, you know, like I was doing my content and stuff while I had had the job. But I did slack a little bit because I be tired during the daytime. Um, and so I don't really get to film as much. Like being a content creator, like, and, you know, I'm talking like full time. Like that's what I want to do. So that means I have to be creating things to do for y'all to, you know, watch me do during the daytime. I have to go out and find things to do, stuff like that. Um, and I hadn't been able to kind of really do that because I had been working so overnight. So I'd be tired during the day. So all y'all had really been getting was my weekends, really. So maybe that was the reason that that job ain't for me. Maybe it's too time consuming for me. Maybe I need like a part time or something. I don't know. Um, but at the moment, I'm not really looking for another job. I wasn't really even looking for that job. It just kind of fell into my lap. And so I took it. Um, and that's kind of like the phase I am in my life. I'm not really going to press for anything. I, I might look for something. I ain't saying I ain't going to look for, I won't look for nothing at all. But this situation, I wasn't looking for this job. It just kind of came upon me. Um, but it did allow me to go ahead and finish getting my car fixed a little bit faster. 
um, than with my regular, you know, entrepreneurship job. But with my business, it would have took me maybe a little bit longer to get that fixed on my car. Um, so it did what it was supposed to do, I guess. It got me back up and, and moving. My car is back up and running and in motion. Y'all, these are going to be like the ugliest braids I've ever done because I'm really lazy and I'm making them real jumbo. I'm not even parting correctly, I don't think. I don't feel like... Look at these. Look at these braids, child. Look at these braids. Look at that braids. So that's the, the skinny ones. That's the very back row when I heard started. And I was like, girl, I'm not finna braid my head this look what am i thinking so i started making them bigger because i just don't feel like doing all that plus the top is i'm going to braid it back to the scalp oh i'm gonna try because i ain't never did that on myself so fingers crossed i have no idea how that's gonna go um but yes i just wanted to let y'all know you know, things happen in life. I'm at this phase in my life of just accepting whatever comes, you know. Um, and I'm not taking on anything as any kind of stress for the simple fact that nothing is going to stop what is actually for me. And so, you know what I'm saying? Like, this job was just simply to help stack some money to support my next goal and dream in this job just because it's no longer there it's not going to stop that so it is what it is i'm gonna still get her done you got me um so yeah it's not it's not that big of a deal we win some we lose some or should i say we win some and some teaches us things um Am I a little sad? Yeah, because I like the job. And, of course, you know, any extra income it, right now in this recession is great to have. Um, but, again, ain't stopping no show love. Ain't stopping. Now, show. I'm trying to see if I got enough hair out. Y'all, this hair, these braids is all over the place, I swear. I have no idea what is going on. But, um, yeah, currently I'm getting my routine back on track with my own stuff. Um, because, like I said, having a job, being so tired, I haven't been like promoting my own business that much because you know like when i'm gonna take care of my clients like i need to because i be tired during the day oh my god so this is going to allow me to get back in the groove of that because i have some time available And so, yeah, I just like to be, you know, I want to make sure that I'm really open and honest with you guys on, like, my entire process on, you know, growing as an influencer and as a, you know, young adult, like, so that way somebody will be able to look at my process later on once I'm really somebody, you know, because I am somebody, don't get twisted, but when I'm really that girl that I want to be. I want y'all to be able to look back and be like, okay, oh, you know, I've lost a job before. She lost a job before. So it's not the end of the world because I know some people, you know, and it just crushes them. Like, don't get me wrong. I've been there. I've been that girl where, like, I was so dependent on that nine to five or their chick. Like, this was going to be setting me up for this, this, and that. And then when something didn't work or, you know, I got fired maybe or I quit, then. My feelings is boohoo hurt and I'm frustrated and flustered because I didn't have a backup plan. 
right? And I know some people are iffy on the backup plans and don't get it twisted. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm one of those people who don't believe in backup plans. Um, I do, but my plan A is not the backup plan. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like me being a content creator and influencer, that's plan A for me. That's, that's, that's the top priority, you know, having the jobs and working for other people and things like that. That's the plan B, you know, plan B is helping me attain plan a always and that's how i look at it um and i feel like that's how that's how everybody should look at it but yeah i'm gonna just finish braiding my hair y'all will probably see me tomorrow because right now it's september i mean why was i about to say september i am tripping baby it's uh february 17th it's 10 o'clock so i'm gonna finish braiding my hair tonight um, and I'm braiding my hair, like I said, all type of ugly ways, different size braids. I really don't care because why you get close to nobody should be that close to my hair. I just need to do something to my head so I'll feel at least halfway motivated to create content because I'll tell you this, I don't like creating content when my hair ain't done. Like, something got to be done to my hair. A nice little ponytail, a silk press, something, something. Because if not, nobody's seeing me because I don't feel cute if my hair ain't done. Like... I ain't got to have no makeup or the cutest clothes. I could be in loungewear or, or jogger seat. But my hair, I don't even care if my, mm, I can say I don't even care if my skin messed up. That's not what I mean, Lord. Please don't give me no breakout, okay? I do care. But, like, I could deal with, I could deal, I guess I could deal with bad skin because I could throw on makeup. But I need my hair done. Need my hair done. So, I'm doing my hair because I'm creating content. Um... Yeah. I should have some good stuff for y'all this weekend. Um next week when my sister come in town. And next weekend my god sister is coming in town. And this weekend my cousin is in town, so this should be a good one. So, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Okay, y'all. So, I have finished the back of my hair. Um, Yeah, not too many braids. It's maybe about 30, 50, 30 to 40. I don't know. I can't calculate. But, I just did the back of my hair. I'm going to try to braid all of this front to the scalp, straight to the back. And, I'm really kind of concerned because I've never done that on my own hair. Um, I never braided my hair to the scalp ever, ever, ever. Um, and the process that it's going to take is because I know for sure that I don't like to braid my own hair to the scalp with hair starting. So I'll have to like feed the hair into my braid. So I don't know y'all. I'm just really concerned if this is going to be ugly, but I'm going to have to part my hair and we're going to see how this looks. I'll let y'all see the first braid. I might not let y'all see nothing. I might not even, this might not even be the look because I'm kind of concerned. So we're going to see. Oh my God, y'all. Okay. So it's coming together. Like I said, I don't expect this to be cute. Um, <laughs> Cause like I said, I've never braided my hair to the scalp myself. Um, I'm not good at braiding my own hair to the scalp. I can't see like the whole concept. It's just boring to me. And I was trying to do this, you know, how I got braid from the front and have one hanging down. I was struggling, like, oh my god, it's in there. I don't really know if it's like look decent or not. I feel like it look, you know, raggedy, but it's kind of cool for the first time. Cause I couldn't like, like, I know it's dark, but like I could not get the concept in my head on how the hell I'm supposed to like do this, like break this way, like I don't know, but it's in there. And it don't look too bad to me, like, because y'all got to remember, like, I'm not expecting to be, like, out and about too, too much for a little while. Um, and I'm not expecting people to be all in my face. So, you know, from a distance, my hair is going to be cute. It's really, I'm really doing my hair for y'all, for the content, you know, not to be doing my hair. But so when I do content, I'll have my hair done. Y'all know I got to feel I gotta look like something. So this will be at least something decent. It's, it's raggedy, but it's decent. And my hair will be done. I won't feel like 
about his scallywag. So, but I just had to show y'all that real quick. Um, that that even got in there, cause I really didn't part properly. But child, like I said, I can't break to the scalp, so my parts is. <laughs> it's kind of crooked my braids kind of crooked but i gotta test it out because i do want to be able to do that myself anytime i'm trying to do braids to the scalp i always have to pay somebody um which i don't pay random people i call wait till my sister come in town or i go to my grandmother because she can braid out the front okay does anybody else say that like is that a memphis thing do other people say they're like like braid not front jigging at front like turn out the front like out the frame like is that a who else say that do y'all know that term like do other people say that i don't know i'm just talking to you i was just wondering what it's looking like i know it's uneven and kind of all over the place my baby hair is just not laid or whatnot but this is what it's doing we get it some content in say hey this is my nail tech the one and only i have not had nobody else touch my nails in what it's been almost two years I, I went to a nail shop, nothing, nothing. Okay, this is what you call real loyalty. And she's stocking up. Yeah, look, I've never been in here before. Is it weird that I like the smell uh, no, in here? No, it doesn't. It's not weird. It's not weird. I like it. Especially like you used to be in your nails or something. Yeah, because I like the smell in the nail shop too. It's, yep, it's very so many colors yeah you don't know what to what to get it's too many options mm -hmm. you see what i deal with i'd be here in so damn indecisive <laughs> i'd be like oh this oh that oh that what would i do this what about to do that oh yeah, my gosh i know it yeah i couldn't do this i need to shop it's somewhere with a smaller amount of stuff because it's too many options <laughs> <laughs> I would never want to be a nail tech. As much as I like to play around and try stuff, this ain't one for me. Like to take it serious and do other people's. If I got a shop like this, I don't want it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cause like I already don't like the shop. Mm -hmm. I'm not a shopper. I don't like shopping. Like I'm an online shopper. Yeah. This. Yeah, this is. This is. This is this. I'm, I think this I'm a little too indecisive. I think that's why I don't like to shop. Uh -huh. Because I can't make up my mind. Like, it's too, too much going on. <laughs> Is this a green? Like a mint? Uh-uh, don't do that. Oh, that's, that's cute. That's very cute. That's cute. That's cute. Look at this one. And these will have the different light and midnight blue. So these have a few bags. concentrated you are. Oh my god, this, this is too much. Oh my god, is, this is a bright orange. That's really bright. That's like highlighter bright. Mm -hmm, like a yellow, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like that yellow, you have a lot. Hmm. This is hot. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> okay, you know. They got the stickers in here. Mm -hmm. And how to Okay, let me think. What well, what can we do with the yellow and that dark blue? Would you go gold? 
with a, a yellow because that's a pastel yellow. It is. It's very pastel. And that deep dark blue. Like these look like they might like have some little inspiration. Those are cute. Not I picked out some cute guy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and another reason y'all I could never be a nail tech because I can't see I'm blind as hell and I can't draw like <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of no you can draw I'm learning girl she can draw y'all I'm still learning okay they got all the little brains Gucci Olay who wants some Olay <laughs> So funny. That's oh dang that's what i forgot to do before i came i completely forgot i'm gonna do it before i go though i was i'm gonna make you your own stickers that's what i meant to do i'm so mad i forgot yeah i was gonna put your logo so that you can put it on nails i wanted to do a fit with your brand on my nails yeah but i'm gonna make sure before i go to atlanta we do that fit so that way it'll have pretty nails and i want to try to print out your q a qr code make your qr code to go to your website and see if it's small enough to read yeah yeah like the little chips that they put in there let's see is there specific tips you want to try i don't know nothing about that what they mean so if you look like right like shape Mm hmm Of course they can get to it. But this is just a I don't know. What happened we done? We always do coffin, I feel like. We always do coffin. We never did like square or nothing like that, no other kind of shape. Square we haven't done like Oh, you know how the braiders be doing the pinky? Maybe we could do something like that, do the pinky. Cause I just know I can't do nothing pointy on my pointer finger because I be touching my eyes too much. And then I'll be blind. I be blind for real. We think I'm blind now, y'all. I be blind for real. I'm, I'm, let me tell you. <laughs> Are these like crystals? Yeah, so you would put it like. Oh, you know what this looks like? like. Oh, I got some of these. You know what this reminds me of? You know, like um those cakes they be doing where they cut it out and they have like the Little crystals. crystals? Yeah. Oh, that could be cute. Do you have some of these in gold? Mm -mm. Cause I was thinking with that yellow and um, the dark blue, you could do like a gold, mm -hmm. like that same look the, concept. Yeah. I have gold foil. Okay. That you can in, like encapsulate. Capsule. You can encapsulate this cause it's gritty. Right, right. Yeah, we can do it in gold. Then. That'll gold. be a cute little look. Okay. Look at me, y'all. I'm trying to. Okay, you doing it down far, believe me. Believe me. I have never braided my braids like this again because I just keep playing with playing the two on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I've been tying them together, <laughs> all kind of stuff. <laughs> just childish. Just okay. childish for nothing. Mm. That's cute, though, you know. It was so hard braiding my hair to the scalp, cause I always do individuals. I like can't braid my own hair to the scalp. I can braid other people's, but, you did. but my own, like it look a little raggedy, but it's in there. Um, it's in there, child. Cause if I show you Lissa's, Lissa's look really good. My Lissa's, uh, but mine, you know, they don't look like hoes look. <laughs> and then these on the side, like first off, the part off, they two different sides. This will start. I would be. Start right here. <laughs> <laughs> Only you could see that though. And I'm did. like, I don't, I don't understand how people braid this like on themselves, mm -hmm. like braiding this direction. Braiding. I was like, how the fuck am, am I supposed, supposed to turn to? my arms in? <laughs> I was like, well, it's in there, <laughs> some yeah. kind of how. I don't know how, but <laughs> some kind of how. Some kind of way, you know. Maroon, is grown and sexy. Oh, that's actually pretty. Yeah, that's really cute. And it got a little shimmer to it. Yeah, it does. Look at us, y'all. Magenta, magenta might be cute too. Look pretty. Yeah. Let's see. Let me 
Ooh. Ooh, that is pretty. Yeah, that is cute. Look at that. So cute. Not a swatching. <laughs> this is how you swatch <laughs> nail polish. Swatching nail polish. That's hot pink. This silver might be cute. You know, some silvers look too. Just did a little lip liner, got this with me on hoodies and jeans. I don't know what shoes I'm gonna put on. The shoes I wanna wear, they got some color. They don't got the same color, but this one got neon in it. But I don't think I like how these fit on my foot or something. So I might go for like, I don't know what shoe I'm gonna wear, but I'm finna do my edges. Y'all, I've been my. Inside my jar in my sleep. <clears throat> and it hurts. It hurts so freaking bad. <clears throat> this is for a couple days. This is probably gonna come down when my sister comes in town. And I'm gonna have her redo all of my top. I think.
I'm gonna put some earrings in just so I don't be so bare. I know it look dark, y'all. Yeah. <coughs> okay, now with the earrings, <coughs> I feel like I look a little childish. Still don't know what shoes, but yeah, I ain't got no makeup on. You can see my blemishes, but skin still doing what it's supposed to do. It's the nails for me. Book my nail check. I'm linking the bio. If you're not just that's where the ear is. I guess I'm gonna put these on y'all. This is the only thing that will like remotely match.
Man, we ran up on my boy. I just told them I've been looking for this guy about seven months, man. This man makes the finest money. motherfucking chick. How long has it been, though? For since, real? Since December? Yeah. No, January. January! It was December. Oh, well, we ain't seen him before nah, then, he though. Didn't, yeah. We ain't seen him so before it's then. So it's been a minute. It's been a minute, but I'm going to get some of these bad-ass wings. He said he's been up. And then look. Look what we found him at our old spot. I used to have a studio right here. Nigga, what? My studio, my first studio was right here where that sign is, y'all. This is good light. <laughs> this is good light. Yeah, it is. It even got my black ass looking pale. I'm, I'm gonna hungry. Give me, I'm happy. I'm gonna give me some of these bad ass wings. So tonight was a good night, y'all. Yeah, well, bring that turn that ass up. Shout out my guy, Miami Mike. We're just tying down the fuck with him at crew, but we ain't going up in there, bro. I'm not going in there. Too many motherfuckers. It's too many people bro. in there. Like, I would be uncomfortable around that many people. Yeah, just really. I that can't whole, do it. Man, ain't so many folks in line. Y'all know me. My YouTube family know me personally. Y'all know I am. Person, though. Not that social. I'm working on it, but I'm not that damn social. To be in there with that many people. Like, Ooh, that barbecue smells so good. Yeah, this light makes my skin look great. Sure it is, right? It's a little bright, though. Yeah, but it makes my skin look good. <laughs> what? I'm trying to see. What's going on here? good morning you guys welcome back to the vloggy vloggy vlog so peep the nails first off oh my god y'all if you know me you know pink and purple are like my favorite colors in the whole entire world including yellow i love me some yellow on my skin tone it just make this chocolate look delicious but i absolutely love pink and purple and normally my nails are either pink purple white or yellow something in that nature but it's always always either some pink or some purple in the mix always right so my nail tech she was like let's do something different on you like we always doing different things but the same colors so we went for a balloon and it came out super stupid duper cute um i'm obsessed with it i can't stop looking at my nails they also glow in the dark i'll probably show y'all a little bit of that later of them glowing in the dark um dang yeah i should have bought some new apple chargers because y'all some of my chargers is not working like it's doing the accessory won't work or whatever thing so but um i'm here it is monday february 20th it's black history month y'all i've been in um i ain't gonna say i've been in a funk but i've just been chilling like i haven't been as productive as i'm used to being like i like kind of got stuck like creatively wise like what do i do next um and so i got a to do i'm finna do a to-do list right of some things that i need to do um so and these not in any particular order but i need to edit interviews and videos from last night um number two or the next thing I need to do that um so in case y'all don't know i am also or i was i still am but i took a break but i was a am was paused 
radio personality so i went to interviews and hostings and stuff like that um and last night i got back into to my to my my bag i got back into the groove of things last night insert clip here so yeah i um i, I fell back in love with it um and i think i'm going to get back into that more this summer i might I don't know if I want to open because I had a show on the station. I don't know if I want to open my um I don't know if I want to open my show back up or just do you know interviews. I'm not sure like kind of how I want that to be set up. So I don't know how I want that to be set up, um, but one of those two things uh, I need to figure out because I'm trying to make sure I'm putting in at work this summer. Like, I'm trying to make sure I don't have to punch nobody's clock that I don't, you know what I'm saying, like have to go get like a part time or a job or nothing like that. In case y'all didn't know, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but the job that I had had that y'all had seen me doing it's over with it's a wrap love it is done that ship has sailed and passed um and i don't know if i mentioned this or not but i feel like everything happens for a reason everything is a domino effect um for the, whatever reason my business was moving slow at the time so i did go get a job um just to kind of help move things along and pay for some more marketing on my business so that i could quit my job again <laughs> but that's all the job is ever for for me as an entrepreneur, as anybody chasing a dream, if the, you know, some people like their nine to five. I don't um, discredit those who like their nine to five. We need somebody in the world got to work some nine to fives, right? Some people enjoy that. For me, I just like the freedom of being creative and doing things that I see fit um, because in a nine to five, you don't always get to wash your opinion. You don't always get to be creative. You don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't always get to take those risks. Um, but that's always my goal so i did go get a little quick job for a minute i was only there for a month child ain't work out um but um nonetheless i'm grateful for it it got my car back up and running because i had to get so much stuff done for my car it got my car back up and running and i ended up meeting this young lady in regards to real estate because i i am going to go back into real estate y'all i just didn't think it would ever be this soon i had a traumatic experience with real, getting it trying to get into real estate I just, I feel like it was more a little bit of my fault, but also just timing because not to blame myself. But when I decided to start my real estate journey, I was still in college, y'all. I was in my last year, actually, I think my last semester or last last semester, last two semesters of college. And I want to say it was my last semester because I had like a bunch of finals and exams and stuff at that time. Um, and I was doing real estate at the same time. I don't know why. I just, I, I... I thought it was going to be a little bit easier. I, what's the word am I looking for? I, I, I underestimated. I don't know why it took me so long to find the word, but I got it. I underestimated, um, the amount of time or, or focus, I guess, that it would take for real estate because typically for one, I'm not a studier never been a person to study for anything in, in in school ever in life um even in college like I really didn't have to study that much like I'm not saying I'm smart but like a lot of stuff be just kind of like common sense to me I'm really good at context clues and things you know putting and if it's been mentioned like my, I got an okay like I'm decent I'm pretty smart I ain't it's like smart smart but I'm, I'm okay um only thing I ever had to study for was math and I didn't baby child I skated through calculus because I ain't understand what the hell going on in the class but just to give y'all an idea of like I'm not a big big on studying but for real estate I did study y'all I took that extremely serious because that was another stream of income I was going to take with me you know after graduating college I was just super excited um and I didn't do bad at all but I just kept missing I missed one too many questions you can only miss two I kept missing three on my final uh 60 hour course because I flew by my 30 but my 60 hour didn't just didn't work out so 
but um to say everything is a domino effect is because of their job i was able to get my car fixed lost the job and when i went up there to figure out what was going on with the job i met this young lady about real estate where i could do a free real estate school um and it's self-paced so i just feel like you know that whole setup was for those reasons but um so that's something i'm putting on my to-do list is contacting the real estate office for the state that i want to get my license in but i'm not going to tell y'all yet where because i'm gonna wait i take my time so yeah i gotta edit interviews from last night i gotta have a meeting about what i'm doing with the radio this summer um oh hold on i also wanted to do okay um real estate gotta see if i can call and see you know what the process is to get that started um number four i need a content day bag because i need pictures to post on my instagram feed i ran out of pictures um so i need to get cute and go take some pictures i need to find some new scenery um but we'll see because things are about to get hectic um not hectic but like this week this next week or two is about to be a little thrown off i got a lot of filming i don't know how quick i'll be able to get stuff out because my sister and I'm come, supposed to be coming in town tomorrow and we leave the next Monday, the 27th, and I'm supposed to be going back with her to Texas for a month and then I'll come back home to Memphis. So, bada boom, bada bang. So, I need a content day. I need to, I need to message Gigi about her video. On, I think we said Friday, 10 a.m. at the library. Okay, um, number six, I need to visit I need to find a beat for this song concept. Um, Number seven, I need to respond to this brand ambassador. Number eight, I need to start back pushing BBP. Um, which in case you guys don't know, it should be in my description on my YouTube down there. I'm not sure if it's in there, but um let me just make sure because it needs to be in there. But BBP is basically, it's a um, a part of my nonprofit organization. Uh, hold on, y'all. Adding some things to my watch later. Oh, I'm slow. I forgot what I was trying to do. I was just trying to see if you in my description yes so bbp is my um it's a um leg or project under my nonprofit, the bsoy foundation and bbp stands for don't go crazy but it stands for bad Beach promotions okay um and it's a a, a a organization of women supporting women that's that's basically what it is um bbp is something i created just for myself to be quite honest like i longed for connecting with other like-minded women like i want that environment i want that community i'm trying to create that community for myself and i'm like well not just for me but everybody else so um bbp uh bad promotions um and it is an acronym so hold your horses bad stands for bold authentic and daring and b is b-y-t-c-h it is a way to play on the word and turn something derogatory into a positive um which a lot of young women are doing nowadays they don't look at their word as um 
negative just depending on the context is used in some people call that they use that women as a term of endearment to some of their friends but i've created it and made it something a little more positive so it stands for bold young trendsetters creating hope b y t c h bold young trendsetters creating hope okay that's what bad promotions is all about um and i just need to get back into marketing and promoting and pushing it um i think like i'm going to because y'all know i do my my reels and stuff on um instagram and tiktok and things like that um i just don't know so like i love a good frame right um so like my graphics i always put a frame that i made and it has like my website i'm gonna try to put a reel here and y'all see that frame where it's like a picture of me the mouse all of that that's considered a frame um i like to put frames around themed content right because let me explain so for me as a, a influencer or a public figure my social medias have more following than my businesses okay um but i like to promote my businesses on my page as well typically it's reels that i will be posting on my page from my businesses so this reel that y'all seeing here that's on my personal page but it's a collaborative post um so it's also on the businesses page like as we did it together um and i want to do that too with bbp like i always um post it's like a little segment i guess you could call it i'd be like i don't know who needs to hear this but i got a word today so listen up and take notes um and then it's like my take notes motivational like piece of content everybody know when they hear those that open into a video that i'm about to say like something motivational positive event whatever the case um i want to do something like that for bbp like some kind of girl motivational something right and stick bbp logo at the bottom just to kind of and we'll you know partner and put that together so so i need to make a frame Because that could be marketing on the BBP page. And also just more, more, more marketing, more content. And I think with BBP, like I was doing good, but I got so stuck in like, because I got OCD, y'all. And like, if you look at my Instagram feed, I'm going to put it right here. If you look at my Instagram feed, I have things typically in threes. Like it's a thing that I need um, in my brain. But um, and I kind of do the same thing on my business page, but I think I just got to get out of there because they be kind of holding me back, no lie. Because sometimes I can't just design and set three. Some things just don't come to my mind. So, like, and then, like, I have a habit of if it's not in my sets of threes, I'm going to delete it because, or archive it. Never delete things, but archive them. Um... but yeah that's kind of where we are but i gotta get bbp back up and running we kind of got off track somewhere throughout the year um but it's okay we're gonna get it back together i think i want to relook at how like i post our marketing content and things like that like i think we're just gonna start to post like more like motivational quotes motivational videos um things like that to try and grasp our audience a little bit better um and I, i've seen some other you know organizations similar so i got some ideas on like some pieces of marketing and things i can do so there's that um i got so much stuff to do y'all what else do i need to do Oh, I want to organize my content a little bit better, like for each platform, like the type of content. Well, really, I, I look at it in two, which is my 
YouTube video, um, like videos, and then my like reels. Does that make sense? Also, like real, like quick, quick, quick videos. So, like creating, like creating my segments, um, having pointers. Like in my vlogs, like this, I don't mind it being like un, un, you know, filtered or whatever. But in my regular videos, like trying to make sure. Or in my planned videos, just trying to make sure that I pinpoint, have a, a plan of what's going on so that I'm just not out here doing shit. So, organized content. And then the last thing, number 10. Dang it, what was it? I just lost it. Damn. Oh, So I'm going to make a really, really long list of content ideas um, and I'm going to put it on my graphics website so that you guys will be able to to purchase. Um, and it's not going to be no more than maybe make five dollars. Like I'm not doing too, too much, but just for a, for my time, because, yeah. So that's what I'm about to get ready to do. Hopefully this. um Thing is up and I'm about to try with this video stuff and see I gotta make some frames and stuff like that so logic blah, blah, blah. I don't have my tripod in here it's in the car and I'm not gonna go to the car and get it but like hmm, maybe I can stick y'all over there so y'all can watch me work hmm. oh, where's my witch McCarver hold on if you ain't trying to get a baggie